misinformation. Uh, aviation is not one of the fastest growing emitters uh, of CO2. In actual fact, road transport is growing at three times the rate of aviation emissions just within the European Union. And bear in mind that no matter what Europe does, emissions in China and India will double between now and 2030. So no matter what we do in Europe, it is irrelevant compared to the growth in emissions. And that doesn't mean Europe shouldn't act, and we should. Uh, but for the growth, remember, if you take someone here like Ryanair, we're 30 years old. Uh, we, have, we This year we carry 150 million passengers. About half of that traffic is newly created traffic because of our very low fares. About another half of that traffic is traffic that has been switched from old legacy airlines, many of whom are no longer in business, like you know, uh, uh, who are flying old aircraft, uh, very inefficient old aircraft. So in actual fact, as an industry, yes, we're growing and we're carrying more passengers, but we're carrying those more passengers on much more efficient uh, aircraft, much more efficient engines, and we have invested very heavily over the last decade and into the next decade to continue to reduce. So emissions, from, it is untrue that emissions from aviation are one of the fastest growing sectors. Simply wrong. Um, it's also untrue that aviation is getting a free ride. It's simply wrong. We're one of the most heavily taxed certainly uh, of the transport sectors uh, compared to, uh, you know, the trains pay no environmental taxes, um, uh, nor do the ferries pay no environmental taxes, we do. 